Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, thrift along with me as my friend Tammy and I go up to St. Cloud to try out some new thrift stores. And then at the end, I will show you my haul. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And of course, find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Sorry for the shades, it's very sunny out today. <sighs> gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are here in St. Cloud. Is that where we are? The yes. Wait Park, somewhere up near St. Cloud, Minnesota. And we're gonna go to a new thrift store. This is my friend Tammy. She's taking me out for a day of fun, starting um, with some yard sales. And then we went and got coffee. We went to a quilting store, even though we don't quilt, but it was cool to see. And now we're going thrifting. So I'll show you some footage from inside. Thrift works. All right, so we're going into Treasure Chest Thrift Store. We went to that one we showed you, and then we went to another one, which I forgot to film. Whoops. And now we're going into the last one of the day. So we'll see what we find.
Okay, so I didn't get a ton uh, when I went out with Tammy because we also went to garage sales and you've already seen those items. I showed you them in my yard sales Sundays this past week. And then we also went to a place called Crafts Direct and got a ton of crafting supplies. So that was really fun and like decor items. But I did get a few cute items and then I'm also gonna show you a few items I got at Craft Direct because they're so cute, they need to be shared. They're decor items. And then I'm also going to show you two paintings. I stopped at a Goodwill in Egan, Minnesota the other day, just randomly, and I got two paintings while I was there. And so I'll actually insert footage from that. But I'm gonna go ahead first and show you what I got when I went out with Tammy. So the first item that I got is this adorable apron. I love this, it's so cute. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong side, haha. <laughs> Here's the front. Look at the stitching and the waistband matches the pockets. I love it, I adore this. And it was only $1.99. And this was from the store called Wakosa Thriftworks. Also from Thriftworks, I got this. It's just a little milk glass dish, bowl, I don't know. Um, one of you had suggested that I use those candlesticks that I recently got. They're green. They could be depression glass, we're not entirely sure. But one of you had suggested like flipping them upside down and using a little decorative bowl on them or a little tiny flower pot. And I was thinking this might work on there with like a little tiny plant or a fake succulent from Dollar Tree, not sure. But I might try that. I don't remember who suggested that, my apologies. It was definitely one of my subscribers. So I thought that was a good idea. This was only 99 cents. Also from Thriftworks, there was a black tray with flowers on it, which I saw in my um, shop thrift along and I totally should have picked that up. I don't know why I didn't, but ah, alas. Okay, and then also I got the this. This was from Barker's More for Less. This store is the one that I think I didn't video in. Um, but it was only $1.49. Thought that was so so cute i am into holly hobby because i was into holly hobby as a kid so i have like a picture that has holly hobby on it and i'm gonna put this in my bedroom like on my dresser maybe put earrings in it or something but it says a happy smile is always in style so so that's my little holly hobby piece then I also got these little guys. They're Homco Incorporated. It's nursery decor. I thought they were so cute. They were only a dollar. And I might, if I start an Etsy shop, I might throw these up on there because I think they're really cute and I think someone might want them. So got those for 99 cents. And then I got this. This is also from Thriftworks. And it's called Visions of Sugar Plums. It's an old cookbook. Oops, where's the front? Visions of Sugar Plums. It's gold color with red on the spine. That'll be nice for Christmas. And it's like all Christmassy recipes. And this was published or copyrighted, let's see, in 1964. So I thought that was cute. I'm definitely gonna try some of the recipes at Christmas time. It doesn't have pictures like I usually like. It has illustrations that are absolutely adorable. Um, and it just had really interesting looking recipes. I like to try new things at Christmas time especially. So I thought that was a cool find. Oh, and there's one other thing. I need to run inside to get it. Hold on. Okay. And this was from the um, the third thrift store that we went to. So this was a dollar. I adore this. It's just like a little vintage container and I already plant. I didn't, it came without the plant, but this plant I also bought that day with Tammy. And so I've already planted in it. So this is gonna look great. This is a house plant from my book I learned about it. I forget the name, it's escaping me right now. But so got that. And then 
on the day that I got the paintings from Goodwill, which I'll insert the footage in a second, I also got this for 99 cents. It's a little owl planter. It does have a hole. It came with a plug, which I set aside, but I've already planted some of my um, propagated succulents into it. So those will grow. I actually have this center one and then two teeny little babies here. Um, they should take though. So, okay. So now let me insert the footage of the paintings that I got at Goodwill in Eakin. I'm going to insert those here. This is one of the pieces of artwork I got at the Goodwill in Eakin. I absolutely adore this. I'm actually going to take it off the wall so you can see the back of it. But it says Leatherboard Patented June 30th, 1884. I'm sure this painting is not from 1884, but the patent on the thing that it's made on, I guess, is from 1884. And I think I did pay full price for this, but that's because I love, love, loved it. You know, I love birds. It's got my colors. I love flowers. So there were many things about this painting that I loved. And here is the other painting that I got. So I've been look. this I got from, I was at a yard sale. I think it was a yard sale or a, a, nope, this I got from the big rummage sale a few weeks back. And so I've been looking for something similar in shape. And so I found this one. I adore this. Of course, my puppies are following me. Um, and I like that the shape kind of goes with this one. I really like the way it looks here. I forget the artist. This Hold one on. says 108S or 1085 Autumn Flowers by Hans Buckner. And I don't know what that is. It said something. It is damaged. It's some kind of reprint. And it looks like it got damaged and someone filled it in. But I'm guessing it's pretty old, judging by the frame. But I love this and I love the way it looks with my other one. Okay, and so those are my thrift finds from my trip with Tammy and then also a little stopover at a Goodwill. Now I'm gonna show you three items from Crafts Direct, which is a wonderful craft store if you ever are in the St. Cloud, Minnesota area. It's like Hobby Lobby, but like exponentially larger. It's very, very big. So um, it was amazing. And I, they had a lot of different kinds of decor, like. And I don't love new decor, like I'd much rather find old things, but these were three really cute items and they were having clearance sales. So, so the first item that I got was this little guy and it says ice cream. Oh, and this was in their clearance store. So there's actually Crafts Direct, which is already like a wholesaler. And then there's their clearance store. And so it was 50% off of the, the price and so I got this for three bucks I thought it was so cute because our kids and I even now with them being old and teenagers every Monday night we get the ice cream man it goes by our house it's actually an ice cream woman and it goes by our house and they run out with their money just like they're five years old again which I love so I got this to set probably on this table here or something it's resin I think it's meant to be outside so that was three dollars and then from the regular store, this was $2.50. I got this because I can't make this. It's metal, it's like a metal sphere. I thought this would look really neat in a dough bowl that I have, or in a, I told you I'm working on a new coffee table vignette, so I might put this in that coffee table vignette. And then possibly the cutest thing ever, I got this. Oh my gosh, is he not adorable? He's going on my back deck. Like, he looks like he's, I don't know, is he looking up to the sky? He's just adorable. I don't know what he's looking at, but I love him. He has like little muddy boots. And ooh, he was also $2.50. So that is all that I have for you today. And that concludes all the treasures that I found when I was out with Tammy. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this haul. 
look for my next video, which will be Friday Thrift Finds. I went to the Goodwill bins this week, and so I'm putting up two videos this weekend um, with some tips and tricks from the Goodwill bins, and then part one and part two of my haul, because I actually found a lot of things. So if you like this kind of content, I would love to have you join me here on my channel. And of course, find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Have a good day. Thank you.